Firewatch 2024, we're tracking a number of fires, including the line fire that started last Thursday night in Highland, west of the Coachella Valley in San Bernardino County. That fire has now burned over 36,000 acres and is 18% contained. And tonight we have live team coverage for you. First Lord Meteorologist Spencer Blum is tracking air quality concerns with smoke drifting into the desert from that fire. And we began with News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura live from Mentone at the base of the San Bernardino Mountains with more on this fire that continues to threaten, well, thousands of homes tonight. Bianca. Good evening, John. We've been tracking the line fire since flames first broke out on Thursday at just over 100 acres. My photographer in there, my photographer and I were there at Highland, and this mountain right behind us was set ablaze earlier this week as the line fire continued to grow aggressively. And further down the road here, you can see a closure on Highway 38 that's leading up into Big Bear. We know that communities have evacuated in that area. And now six days later, like you said, the line fire has burned more than 36,000 acres and is 18% contained. That's according to Cal Fire's latest report. And yesterday, authorities announced that 34-year-old Justin Wade Halstenberg of Norco was arrested on suspicion of causing the fire, and he is in custody without bail. Officials have not released any further details on the nature of the cause of the fire, and they have alluded that Halstenberg may be linked to other fires. Cal Fire officials say about 36,000 people have been affected by evacuation orders linked to the line fire, and they also add that the line fire has an average growth of about 5,000 to 6,000 acres a day. We also know that the weather has made it difficult for crews fighting the line fire. We know that they have faced extreme heat as well as low relative humidity and wind that led to erratic fire behavior, but today crews are finally seeing some relief. Today we saw a little cooling trend that was about 10 degrees cooler overall on the incident. Uh, that allowed for the inversion layer to lift, some of our aircraft to get in and slow the forward progress of the fire, and our ground crews to get in and go direct on the fire and continue those containment efforts. And some of the communities that have been most impacted include the Angeles Oaks area, and the communities off of 330 again getting closer into Big Bear. And a state of emergency was declared in response to the line fire. And Cal Fire officials tell us that the presence of the National Guard has been phenomenal. They've been assisting with evacuations and setting up security in communities that have been evacuated. They're working alongside sheriff's deputies. As for damages, we do know that one structure has been completely destroyed. And we know that there have been crews that are assessing those damages and they're continuing to get those numbers. We will work to get you that information as soon as, it, as soon as it is confirmed. And we also know that the major highway arteries on the 38 and 330 have been the most impacted. When it comes to evacuations and orders, you can find up to the minute updates on our website, KESQ.com. I'm live here tracking the line fire. Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3.